What's going on guys? And thank you so much for tuning in today. And today we have a very, very important conversation that we've had a lot of our clients ask us about, and that is interest rates updates, okay? Now I'm going to categorize this in three easy sections for you, which is going to be understanding the interest rates right now, why this is affecting you, and then I'm gonna just give you my opinion at the end, okay? Now, the reason I wanna make this is I wanna make it as simple and concise as possible because if you're like, any of our clients that we've worked with in the past, they tell me, Alexa, I don't live and breathe real estate, right? Like I have a job, I have a business, like that's not my expertise, right? I need somebody to simplify it for me. And that's where we wanted to make this video to just simplify it as much as possible because I know there's a bunch of amazing advisors and just experts when it comes to the interest rate field in general that will make a video and make it very complex and explain things to you from, you know, the fixed rate yield and the rate buy down and amortization and you know the APR and you're just looking at them like what did they just say right so with that being said in this video I want to simplify why we are currently where we're at and then we'll head into those next points with that being said let's jump right into it The number one thing that I want you to focus on is essentially the reason why the interest rates skyrocketed was because they were trying to control spending. That's basically in a nutshell what it is. Inflation, okay? Now the reason that obviously that affects you is because the interest rates went up. Now, if you are like any of the other clients that were interested in buying a home and maybe you went to the bank and the bank said, I'm sorry, but you do not qualify anymore for the home that you wanted to buy. We had some clients that were qualifying for $500,000 after the interest rates went up. They were only able to qualify in the threes because of how that had affected their overall budget with now the payment being higher, the debts that they had, debt to income ratio is definitely very important important here so it affected them there were a lot of people that just decided you know what <clears throat> I'm going to wait to buy a home because I want the interest rates to go down so that I'm able to get back into the race now here's the thing with this if you study the trends if you look into everything that's happening historically speaking here okay you are going to see that at the end of the day what happens tends to repeat itself okay history tends to repeat itself and if you look at the numbers you know as things have gone up things will come back down as things have come down things will go back up on monday december 4th the average interest rate on a 30 year fixed rate plumbed 20 basis points to 6.8 now, the average rate on a 15-year fixed mortgage rate dropped actually a 8-point basis point to a 6.179. Okay, so why is this all important? The reason why this is important is because as we experienced in COVID, right there were a lot of people that said you know what i am going to wait until i have more certainty on what is happening now the unfortunate part there is that because they waited they lost out on one of the best opportunities for them to get into the market because of the interest rates being a factor that could have helped them receive a lower monthly payment now of course you want to factor that in now because at the end of the day, regardless of what anybody is saying, you want to ask yourself, why are you buying a home? If it's to just get in and get out because you want to turn around and get some cash out of it, I'm telling you right now, that is not the smartest approach. Just from personal experience, I've shared in previous videos, yes, I'm a real estate advisor, but I'm also an active investor. So I don't just talk to people about, hey, you should buy a house or a building or sell your building, but let's actually invest in real estate so that you know what is happening. Now, what is going to happen right now is, and these are just projections based off what we've seen, but the supply and demand cannot keep up with the demand of buyers. That's just economics one-on-one. -on -one. What goes up comes down, what comes down has to come back down. Now, with that being said, there's a lot of rumors of people just wanting to wait until next year for the interest rates to drop in order for them to get back into the race. Now, here's the thing. Right now, you are in a situation where you're able to still negotiate concessions from the seller and able to negotiate in some cases, interest rate buy down. What is concession? closing cost, okay? That's gonna help you be able to get into the home with as minimal as possible when it comes to buying a house. Now, the second part to that is interest rate buy downs. Now, interest rate buy downs is essentially you telling the bank 
How much do I owe you in order for you to bring down my interest rate? Now, here's the thing. There's certain houses right now in the market that will offer that to you. I have one that right now in particular, what the builder is doing to incentivize the clients because they know that people want to buy, they just can't buy. What they're doing is they're offering a 5.75 on the interest rate and the client has to buy the new home and go with their bank. And a lot of our clients are like, yes, like we're going to do that because that's going to allow us to get our foot in the door into a home that we actually love. And at the end of the day, we're getting a better interest rate than what we're seeing on the market. Now, that's why it's so important for you to ask yourself the question of what is your end goal? Okay, in anything you're doing in life, having a very clear intention with where you're going with this is super important because if your goal is to stop paying your landlord, right? And saying, you know what? I am done with renting. I want to invest into something that I'm going to be able to pass down to my family or maybe just have as a investment property for now and eventually maybe move out to another home, use it as equity. If it's a long-term play, then you definitely want to consider getting into a home and not worrying about the interest rate. You can always refinance. Okay, that's the reality of it. Now, if you're focusing on what a lot of people are looking at right now, which is, oh, I'm gonna wait until the market crash. Yep, that's gonna be the time where I'm gonna be get the best deals. Unfortunately, this is where I say everybody under the sun becomes an expert when it comes to just forecasting certain things without looking at all the facts. What happens at that point is that now, because you're competing against all those other people that were not able to buy, not that they didn't want to, they just weren't able to buy the house that they wanted to, they're back in the market and they're ready to go. So now if you were somebody that was qualified, but you were waiting around, you didn't have any competition. But now you waited for the people that actually want to buy to get back in the market and now you're competing with those people. These people are ready to buy, they just couldn't buy. So my food for thought here, and this is where, again, it all comes down to you, your unique situation, really assess where you're trying to go with this. For me, I said this year, you know what? I wanna buy another house and I want something bigger. I didn't care about the interest rates. I was like, it is what it is. I'm gonna move on to a bigger house. I turned my last house into an Airbnb. <laughs> I moved on to this new house. And essentially now I know that if that market as again, we see what comes up, comes down, vice versa. I know that I'll be able to refinance that house, rinse and repeat and go into another house. That is where I have my mentality and that's where a lot of my clients, I've been able to share that because they want to start building a portfolio little by little. And I started as a, as a first time buyer once upon a time as well, right? So there's a lot of things that you want to consider and I just think that it's more important for you to ask yourself, why is the media looking to make me focus on this side? What is the hidden agenda? What is the bigger picture at the end of the day if it's not the time for you to buy and you just can't do it right now that's perfectly fine don't let anybody make you feel less or don't let anybody make you feel like you're wrong for deciding to continue to rent or whatever the case is that's your decision right that's your right just do yourself the favor and do all the research to ensure that you're not being sold on something an idea of some guru on internet telling you oh don't do it don't do it wait wait and then they're not even doing that right they're practicing something that they're not even preaching that they're preaching something that they're not even practicing themselves. So ensure that's something you're very, very dialed into. And at the end of the day, if it's the, the time where you're looking to buy and maybe you have been told in the past, I'm sorry, you don't qualify. Don't just take a no for your final answer, okay? We've had so many clients that have told us, oh, it's because they told me that I wouldn't be able to qualify. So I'm just like giving up on the idea of buying a home. And then we run them through a different bank and they were able to qualify. So always get a second opinion, okay? It's super important to just evaluate everything because just because ABC Mortgage can do it doesn't mean that CD Mortgage can do it for you, okay? So with that being said, I hope this video was helpful. I'm gonna insert some links for some of the articles that we're citing here just to ensure that this is as concise as possible. Like I said, I didn't wanna get into a bunch of like APRs and basis points and all these other things that are just gonna completely overwhelm people. There's a bunch of videos of amazing people sharing that content already. Ready. I just wanted to really simplify this and make it as concise and easy to digest as possible. So as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to let us know. Drop a comment down below of what you thought was the biggest aha moment for you in this video. And if there's anything in the future that you would like for us to cover, please let us know because we would love to make sure that your questions are being answered. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day and I will talk to you on the next one.